Hello, in this video, I'm going to parse an XML file and we're going to load its contents into an object. And uh, the objects are going to be uh, employee objects. So um, I'm going to describe an employee in an XML file and then load it to be displayed on the form here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a property grid view. and put that at the bottom here and that will display all of the properties of the selected employee and I'm going to anchor it and then a list box and the list box is going to list all of the employees and we'll be able to select from them Okay, now I'm going to make my model. So I'm going to add a class, call it employee. And we're going to add, or yeah, we're going to add an auto implementer called name to describe the name of the employee. And now we can do age. And a boolean here is male. Okay, and one last thing, we're going to override to string just for the list view and we will return name. All right, now I'm going to de define an XML file describing employees. So we are going to add a new item and it's going to be an XML file and I'm going to call this employees or employee data I suppose okay I'm going to add a root here and then I'm going to add a bunch of employee um, elements so we're going to use the attributes here. We're going to use the attributes for the name property. And other than that, we'll just use other tags or other inner elements. So this is one employee, Brian Ferguson. And here is age. Here's the age tag. And I'm 21. And what's the other one? Is male. Okay, and is male is true. And we're going to add more employees here, like uh, Brian Marley, 40. And true, and then one more. We can do Bob Saget, and Bob Saget's going to be 20, and he's going to be a girl. And that will do. So in the Form 1 constructor, we're going to parse this XML file. This XML file is going to be in our resources, is it? Is it a resource? It is not a resource. Um, I'm going to just copy this to the output directory. So copy always so that we can load it from file. Oh, 
Okay, so let's create a method called load employees. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to declare an XML document. Call it doc it's equal to new XML document and use doc load. And we're going to load this from file. So we specify a file name, which is employee data.xml. You can use load XML to load the actual XML content if you already have it. Okay, and the next thing that we need to do is we need to iterate through all the child elements in the um, root element. So in the XML document, you're going to have a root element. And that's also going to be the document element in the uh, document class, I do believe. So for each XML node, um, node in doc, document element, which is the root, which I can't really tooltip at the moment because of possible system null ex exception. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get the attribute first. So string name is equal to node attributes zero. It's going to be the first one. There's only one value. What else is there? There's the age. So that's an inner tag or an inner element. So int age is equal to int parse. We're expecting an int, uh, a number, a parsable number. So we're going to use int parse. I don't know if this is actually the most proper way of parsing integers for XML. There might be something built in, but who cares? So what we can do is we can use an indexer for the XML node and we can specify a name and that will get the first child element with the specified name. And we don't want to use numeric indexes because that's primitive and that means that the user has to order their XML tags in a certain way or their elements and we don't want them to do that. So age dot value. And the last one is is male. Bool parse. We're going to do the exact same thing. OK, and for every time we find ourselves a inner node, an employee node, we're just going to add it to the list box here. So new employee name age is male. Cool. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the selected index changed event handler here and check to see if list box selected index is not equal to um, negative one. If it isn't, then we want to display our um, employee, our selected employee object in the property grid view. So property grid selected object is equal to list box. Um, I think I can do selected item we can try that. Okay, so I'm going to run it. And apparently it can't find the age here for one of my nodes. So I'm going to take a look at that. So this is doubled up here, this uh, bracket or this, what are they called? Greater than symbol, a pointy bracket maybe. And I'm going to remove that. I think it'll fix it. 
Okay, so the problem is, is that I'm getting the value of the node here. And I'm not really sure exactly what the value is, um, but I really should be getting the inner text. So when I'm dealing with an element and getting the text within the element, I should probably use inner text. And I'm going to have to do the same thing for is male. There we go. So we got Brian Ferguson, Brian Ferguson 21, is male. Um, Brian Marley, 40, true, Brian Marley. And Bob Saget, so 20 and false. 